I'm trying to keep it fun a little bit because trust me, man, I ain't even trying to go to sleep watching this shit, man. I get I get it that our lives are not like in the hanging in the balance, but I'm trying to mix it up because this is a live stream. I'm trying to be entertaining for y'all. Anyway, yo, check this out. Uh my boy La Baby. Okay. He's fired back at, at, at Gunna. And apparently he's shooting a new music video. And he got some interesting lines. And apparently the lines, he's saying that Slime, right, won't be happy that dudes took some pleas. Now, what could that mean other than saying that fuck what Gunna talking about? Slime is extremely uh, unhappy. Okay, he, he, here's the um, snippet. He says some niggas taking pleas. I know that slime ain't happy. Yo, Gun, I'm gonna be honest. The more these hypocrites keep talking, the more I come on your side. I know that. Hey, you ever seen that meme? I know that ain't who I think it is. I know after all the recent shit that's been going on. The first time you're, you're talking about some shit like this, you're not talking about Gunna. When, again, I love P, so I have no issue. Like, first of all, I don't even care who's a stench or not. 6 is my homie. But people said that whatever about P, why you don't address that in the record? Why are you just addressing Gunna? I hate when rappers try to just pile on for, the, for like, the easy reason. I've always said this, man. When niggas say they're gangster, I only I only judge the gangsters when the gangsters don't pick and choose. If you pick and choose, I got to judge you. Because you're not really gangster. You're just a bully. Gangsters don't pick and choose. They keep the same energy for everybody. Get down and lay down. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, I know he not. I know that ain't who I think it is. I know he not talking about Gunner. Before you talk about Gunner, my brother, you got to address what they said about the guy who's cutting your checks. Now, I don't have a problem with Pete because I love Pete. I don't care about snitching. But before you try to play this little quasi street nigga shit, you should address what they're saying about your boss. Don't talk about you and Gunner. Yeah, y'all were friends, made a couple songs. But we don't want to hear what you're talking about, Gunna. We want to hear what you're talking about, your situation. Now, some people are saying this is old. Is it old? How old is it? Okay, everybody's saying it's old. Okay, if it's old, it's old. All right, it's old, I'm guessing. It's a month old. Nigga, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a month old? Nah, a month old ain't, ain't old. Nigga, two months old ain't old. <laughs> Nigga, I thought you were be like, oh, yeah, this is from like 2019. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Nigga, if it came out this year, if it came out after Young Thug got locked, it's not old. Y'all just let me. Nigga said, baby, gonna, nigga, baby ain't mentioning me in the no more songs ever again, nigga. All baby gonna do is get that little goofy nigga, what's his name? Looney Tune to try to talk. Like, come on, man. That boy trying to build a career. Man, y'all made me y'all made me like delete it off my page, man. I thought I thought I thought I was tweaking. It came across my desk. I just reposted type shit. I ain't know this shit not old. So it's not old. <sighs> the 
The song is old. The video is recent. Bro, I don't care what it is, man. This wasn't no response to Gunna's song. Fuck it, nigga. You should change the line. I ain't got time for it. Holy! <laughs> all right. Video back up on my page. I was going to take it out just because y'all said it was old. I'm like, all right. They're going to be like, act you starting shit again. Nah, nigga. <laughs> Yo, why niggas say in the comments, why they say the streets saying that act took a plea for the Big Mac? Now y'all saying the song is alright, man. Alright, I'm gonna just take this one down because I don't want niggas to be like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, because I'm gonna lie. This is what I hear going on in land. I'm gonna just keep it real with you. I hear niggas' heads about to start rolling. Niggas is tight. Niggas is upset. Niggas is tired of the snitching. The streets in Atlanta, the actual street niggas, they, they're tired of the fuckery. I don't want to be a part of no incite nothing. But I will say this. If a rapper raps about something, you fucked up. Don't. L l let me give. Let me issue a big message. And, and news made it. You can post this. If you an Atlanta rapper and you got some real shit going on in the streets going on, stop rapping about it. Don't blame fans for instigating. Don't rap about it. Go back to Atlanta five, ten years ago. Where we thought all y'all were friends. We didn't know that all y'all were snitching on each other. Shooting at each other. Y'all snaking each other. Backdooring each other. Please Atlanta rappers. Don't bring us in your business. And then blame us when y'all eventually crash out. Over y'all getting exposed. Please. That's the only thing I want to say to Atlanta rappers. We never knew nothing about what y'all had going on. Before two years ago. All that shit. When niggas said yo. Act, why you post? Nigga, I ain't even know what that... Gunna put me on game. Nigga, I'm listening to the song. I'm like, Gunna, what you talking about? I never heard this shit in my day before in my life. <laughs> Atlanta used to keep shit in-house. In Atlanta must be on some crash-out mission trying to be Chicago. All right, good luck. But don't be mad when the fans are now looking at it. When fans know that there's tension, fans keep looking like, oh, so they're beefing? Let me see if this nigga going to hang with him. Let's see if he going to perform with him. Let's see what's going on with this. So please, Atlanta, if, if you guys are listening to me, there's nobody who's trying to incite beef with y'all. We just don't care. Like, we've never looked at Atlanta as beef. To keep it real, we didn't even think that y'all niggas was like that. I'm going to be honest with you. We just looked at Chicago and Memphis. <laughs> They're always wilding. We looked at y'all as the cool get money niggas. We ain't say y'all not like that. But look, I, obviously, just, but, but, but. We thought y'all was just keeping it cool. Recently, we realized y'all got the most beef in the world. Y'all got beef like New York in the early 2000s. Remember when 50 couldn't stand Ja Rule and he couldn't stand Fat Joe? He ain't like, well, I guess maybe that was a 50 thing. That nigga didn't like <laughs> Jada Kiss. But then you had, um, I guess it was 50. 50 was the only nigga beefing with everybody. Somebody said, don't speak on Atlanta business if you're not from here. Nigga, that ain't Philly, nigga. That's Philly's motto. Nigga, half of the niggas in Atlanta are not from Atlanta. <laughs> Let's be honest. Half the niggas in Atlanta are not from Atlanta. Yes, there's a war in Atlanta happening. Don't blame me. It ain't me. For, put it like this. If, this is what I always say to rappers. If academics could find out what's going on in your hood, you're doing a very bad job of concealing it. Let's go back to the time that y'all were making great records. We didn't know who was beefing with who because we didn't even think about why you don't hang with so-and-so. We just was like, oh, maybe I, whatever. We didn't even think about it. Now Atlanta rappers want to let us know what's going on. I will let all Atlanta rappers know. Y'all going to end up in indictments. Anytime y'all try to let the fans know, don't blame the fans neither. Fans are going to be fans. Fans are going to be fans. Blogs going to be the, be blogs. Nobody going to be sitting in jail with you. Don't blame nobody else but y'all. I'm telling Atlanta rappers, go back to the time that nobody knew what the fuck y'all were be. I remember when I was on Everyday Struggle, I remember talking to people and they were like, yo, nah, niggas in Atlanta, like, they be static. Niggas don't really, some niggas don't really fuck with each other. I'm like, who? I've never heard of that. Nowadays, niggas, two Google, nigga, one Google search. Like, oh, yeah, he beefing with him. 
he dissing him. He dissing that nigga that died. He over here clowning that nigga because he got robbed. He just got slapped over there. Oh, yeah, he was at this party. They ran him out of the club. I'm like, what? The Atlanta politics is the most interesting shit now. So, again, I will just go back to just saying, Atlanta, trust me, nobody wants y'all in beef. Nobody wants y'all incarcerated. Please go back to a time that y'all street issues were handled in the street and not bars and not Instagram posts poking fun of your enemies because fans ain't stupid no more. They catch on. Oh, he talking about that. All right. I, 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 I'll say this is a non-story. I'll say it's a non-story. 